Okay, gotta get comfy in here. So we're going to the Krabby Night Market and a little tuk-tuk. We were gonna go to the Aonang Night Market, but we decided for the Krabby Night Market and uh, this is the Batmobile. All right, riding in style over here. Woo. <laughs> If I understood correctly, he said it starts uh, for the light up. Look at the size of those corns. <laughs> They're probably too big for babies. Alright, so I, I think we're hitting the food stands. So we have stands that way. And that way. Maybe we'll just go check out that way. So, there's this pad thai stand and there's a line. There's been a lineup. Second time I passed by it, there's been a lineup each and every time, so I'll give it a try. Okay, thank you. We're gonna share this with the kids, so we're gonna keep it light on the chilies. Ooh, that's really hot. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Shrimp or glass noodles. Hold it. There we go. Do you have one? I don't want one. It's an egg. Mm. That's like a deep fried egg. It's really tasty. I don't mm. want it. Mm. It's quail egg. I don't want it. Oh, it's quail egg. Yeah, that's why it's so tasty. All right, so we found this table here. We have these uh, pseudo front row seats for the show. So a guy with a sax. It's uh, kind of like a nice romantic uh, atmosphere tonight here. A nice, uh, cool, chill vibe in the air. Let's take the food out. We got chicken satay, we got pad thai, we have... Uh, what else did you get? We also have another noodle dish that uh, is supposedly too spicy for the kids. And oh yes, I got uh, the shrimp with glass noodles, which actually looks really good. Mmm, that's really good. Okay. I'll just eat that one. Mm, chicken satay is really nice. It's, uh, I like how they dump the peanut sauce. Be careful with that. I like how they dump the peanut sauce. It also has uh, like some herbs in, in the sauce, so it's very nice and light, and it tastes very fresh, really nice. So this is basically, I don't know if we can see it. It's a noodle and mushroom dish. It's very fragrant and uh, also has uh, that smell of chili. That is really nice. There's all kinds of mushrooms in there. 
You can see this, uh, this uh, I believe is an ear mushroom. You also have these white mushrooms and uh, you have bigger chunks of, uh, of mushrooms like that which kind of reminds me of porcini mushrooms. I, I don't think that's what it is, but... So this is basically a mushroom medley over here with noodles and mint and uh, garlic and chili, basically, from what I can tell. And it goes really well together, wow. It's really nice and crunchy and fresh. Just a very, oh, there's some onions too. Just a very pleasant, mix of flavors and textures all right so we move on to the pad thai this is just a, i think um i think it's a plain pad thai a veggie pad thai i don't see any shrimp or any chicken in there let's see what it tastes like so it's good because it's not spicy so the babies have been eating some of it I wish the noodles weren't so like um, bunched up, lumped up like that. And I am, oh, actually is there any meat? No. I do wish there was some kind of uh, shrimp or chicken or some kind of protein outside of egg in there. Um, it's not bad but it doesn't wow me. This is the shrimp and uh, glass noodles which are like these kind of like transparent, very stringy noodles that look very soft. Kind of like a transparent yellowish uh, vermicelli. That's nice. It's super soft. I just kind of like melt in your mouth like they're not even there. The sauce is very light actually. It's like a light gingery sauce. Thing is, it's not overly saucy. She just dumped enough sauce to, to flavor it, but it's not. It's not. Um, swimming in sauce. It's very nice. There's some lemongrass. There's ginger. It's a nice balance of flavors. There's also mushrooms in here. We can see these. Um, oh, these look like uh, Chinese mushrooms. I forget the uh, the actual name, but these look like Chinese mushrooms. The ones that are like dehydrated and then you rehydrate them and they're very, very crunchy. Now they're a little softer. So, peeling all that shrimp took probably more work than uh, than it does to someone that's a seasoned vet, which is not me. The only thing that surprises me about this dish is um, there's no chili. This must be the first Thai dish um, that I saw that there is literally not a trace of chili. Weird. These glass noodles, I gotta say, they're kind of addictive. You know, you start eating them, and you just want to keep eating. They're so soft. Oh, hey, you guys! I smell my flowers. Well, I don't know how to make bubbles. It smells like plastic. Say something else. It smells like roses. So that completes our uh, tour of the Krabby Night Market. The food was really good. My favorite dish was the. Um, I thought it was gonna be the shrimp, but it was the uh, what was it the mushroom salad like mushroom and and uh, noodles and uh, mainly because it had spice of course all right Bye, see you next time.